last and final session of prayer. Before that, we are going to study a little bit about how to pray. I'm going to just focus on four things. The Bible is very clear. Jesus is very clear. Every human being must pray for four things. If you can get this secret, you, you are quite a champion when it comes to prayer. Only four things. So before that, Shall we go to the first one? Okay. One of the most challenging countries in the world is India. I come from India. Uh, if I can be very honest, I'm, I've been extremely happy for the past few years in Philippines because I have really enjoyed my life going around and preaching. In India, I cannot do this so vehemently. You've got to be a little bit cautious. Here is my Indian friend. She will agree with me. There are times when the Hindu, we have a group called RSS and VHP, BJP, they will come and beat you up if you are preaching. They will beat you up. Correct, my friend? Many of my friends have been tied to trees in a village and have been beaten. Beaten means literally beaten. There was this missionary called Hyde. His name is called Hyde. His only desire was to go to India and evangelize. How come this man was inspired to go only to India? Then he undertook a certain secret. His name was called Praying Hyde. Friends, as we enter the last session of prayer, listen to this. Missionary to India. And his friend said, I will pray till you are filled with the Holy Spirit. Not, I will pray till the church board has taken action, till your budget is approved. These days, church boards happen three hours and three minutes of prayer. You pray for three hours, finish the church board in 30 minutes, see how it works. Amazing, amazing. I'm going to show you what this man did only by praying. Let's go to the next one. He began to pray. Sometimes whole night he would pray just for the salvation of India. Lord, save India. Save India. Save Indians. One of the reasons why you stand an Indian conducting this prayer meeting is because of this guy. Let me show you what this guy did. He decided to pray, Lord, I'm going to pray that every day one person will be converted in India. One person. Do you think God heard that prayer? Let's go to the next one. Next year he said, Lord, every day I want two to be saved in India. Save two people, Lord. Save two people. Continue, sir. I'm going to show you what Ellen White says. The same compassionate Savior lives today and he is as willing to listen to the prayer of faith as when he walked visibly among men. One of the 12 disciples came to India and preached. Do you know who is one of the 12 disciples? Who came to India? Yeah, some of you are doubting whether he came. Really, he's the one, okay? This man came to India, prayed whole night, and he would walk through a village. As he walked, whole village got healed. Do you know that? Whole village, the power of prayer. Friends, if there is one thing you can catch and go home before we dismiss, it's prayer. What are your struggles? What are your challenges? What are your issues? What is the crisis? I don't care what your crisis is. You pray in Jesus' name, you receive the answer. Very simple. There is no science about it. Let's go, my friend. I'm going to quickly go. I'm going to very quickly go. Actually, I have a lot of stuff, but we wanted to go till 6, but we want to make sure we will finish a little after 5 because it's raining and it's getting dark. It's a part of God's plan to grant us in answer to the prayer of faith that which we would not bestow did we not thus ask. If you want prayers to be answered, you have to pray. Many people complain 
Oh, I have this, I have that. Have you prayed? You pray and see what will happen. Let's go to the next one. Shall not our half-hearted supplications be turned into petitions of intense desire for this great blessing? Young people, I'm going to ask you to pray. Ellen White says, before you choose your life partner, you know how many times you're supposed to pray? Not double. Double means you will get a wife who will trouble you. <laughs> Don't pay double. You know how many times? Four. <laughs> I like that. It depends from wife to wife, you know. <laughs> yes, uh, Sarah, I appreciate your honesty. I appreciate it. Four times. You have to pray four times before choosing your life partner. Young people, will you say amen? amen? Don't simply go give a rose. The thorn will prick you. You know, it's very dangerous. Let's go to the next one, quickly. If we would reach up higher and expect more, our petitions would reveal the quickening influence that comes to every soul that, who asks with the full expectation of being heard and answered. Reach up higher, expect more. Attempt great things for God and expect great things from God. Yes, sir. The Lord is not glorified by the tame supplication. Half-hearted prayer, tame supplication, which show nothing is expected. He desires everyone who believes to approach the throne of grace with earnestness and assurance. Come on. No half-hearted prayer, no tame supplication, no with without earnestness and assurance. I have few more to go. Let's go. Do we realize the magnitude of the work in which we are engaged? Friends, when was the last time honestly and earnestly you prayed for your barangay? Did you pray for your province? Do you pray for Kabite? Do you pray for Laguna Bay? Do you pray for Manila Bay? Do you pray for Taguig, Pasi? Take a certain city. This is biblical. Pray. Be specific. Lord, I want as many people as possible to be saved in Pasai, in Pasi, in Tagig, or whatever you want to. Pray. Pray hard. Let me show you quickly a few more. If we realize the greatness of the gift, if we desire the attainment of the blessing, our petitions would ascend with earnestness, importunity, urgency. Go, sir. We should ask with an earnestness. Just a moment. I have so much. I don't have the time to read all this. Okay. Now we are going to ask God for four things. Jesus says, you must pray and ask four things. How many things? Four. If you were to pray, precious, what would be the first thing that you would pray for? Family. Praise the Lord. Let's see what Jesus says he will pray for. Yes. Ask on behalf of those who persecute you and so reflect your Father in heaven. Do you know what is the first prayer you and I are supposed to pray for? For our enemies. You want to take revenge on your enemies? The best thing? Pray. God will take care. I want to tell you of an illustration. Once, a small little cute baby monkey happened to pick up a sharp knife. And it just started hurting itself and it was bleeding. It, it wouldn't let go of the sharp knife. They said, hey, come on, drop it, drop it. No. But it started crying, but it wouldn't let go. How foolish many of us are holding the sharp knives of hurt. You know who is it hurting? You. The moment you throw the sharp knife, you are no more a monkey. Let us throw the sharp knives that we are holding. And the more we hold, the more we are hurting. Let's not be monkey Christians. Second one. Ask for soul winners. The harvest truly is plenty. But the laborers are few. Jesus says, pray for your enemy. Right? Number two, pray for soul winners. Lord, we are not having enough force. That's why we need to have prayers like this. We need to mobilize. Third thing, let's pray. Can you go to the next one? Yes. 
ask for strength to resist temptation. This is where most of the Christians fail. We think by our own power, by our own strength, we will be able to push through. My friend, how many days are in a week? Seven days. The seven days without prayer makes one weak. But seven days with Jesus and prayer makes, makes one weak. I will tell you why. Seven days without Jesus and seven days with Jesus. Do you want to know what are the seven days without Jesus? It will be sin day, moan day, twist day, waste day, thirst day, fright day and shatter day. But with Jesus, it will be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Seven days with Jesus and prayer. Let's go to the last one. My friend. Is it showing there? No, no, no. We have to go there. We have missed. No, you have to just stop there. It will go there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Uh, it is not uh, showing here. The last one. Those of you who want to pray. Luke eleven thirteen. Ask for the Holy Spirit. Right now, I'm going to ask all of you to get a prayer partner. Will you get a prayer partner? Let's all kneel down right now. Get a prayer partner. Everybody two by two. One person pray for the first two. The second person pray for the remaining. This is our last prayer session. We are going to take five minutes. Pray for five minutes. First partner, pray for the first one. Second one. The next one, pray for Yes. Everyone, just get into two, two. No threes. Just two, two. Two, 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 two. Let, let's be a little bit mathematical. 